Today is 10-16, October 16th, and our title is Puff Cloud S. Puff Cloud S. Got our sketchbook opened up here. Looks like I've got room right here. Put the date, 10-16, and let's get started. We're going to start with a simple box, okay, and we're going to create the S out of this box. Okay, so I've got my box. Basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut some parts away. So I'm going to come down right to about here and I'm just going to come in, I'm going to loop in, back out, like that. Okay? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come right to about here, I'm going to loop in, and come back. Okay? So basically you have your S at this point. Now we just need to go back and curve some parts a little bit more. So right there right here we're just cutting corners off okay and now we have it so erase what you don't need okay so I don't need any of this stuff I can go ahead and keep the end on there everything you don't need needs to be gone so I don't need any of that and I'm also gonna lighten this line as well because I'm really just gonna use this as a guideline for my pattern Okay, so what you're going to be doing is making a repeating pattern of bumps. Okay, some are large, some are small, but you're just going through the whole thing, going all the way around. Some can be close together, some can be far apart. It's up to you. Okay, but make sure you go all the way around. Okay. And that was pretty quick. So I've got that. Let's go ahead and erase what you don't need. So if you can still see those lines in there, go ahead and get rid of them. We don't need to see those. Okay, try to erase what you can. Alrighty, let's add some shading and we'll be done. So what you're going to do is to create texture to look like a cloud texture, like a smoke texture. You're going to turn your pencil on its side. And how you're going to shade is you're going to use a circular motion. And you're going to start out dark on the left and as you move to the right you're gonna lighten it up okay so I'm coming back for a second pass and this time I'm not pushing quite as hard okay one more pass even lighter this time okay so you're gonna have some shading on the left it's also gonna wrap around down to here okay just like that just a little bit and then we're gonna do the side here and the bottom so again, using that circular motion and using a gradual shading from dark to light, you're going to go down the bottom of this. Okay, and I've got some big chunks of my cloud there, so I want to make sure I fill those in fully. Okay, lightening it up again, crawling up to the side. So, so far we're kind of going down this way and up. Last place we're going to put it is right under here. Okay, so I'm going to start with it dark here. And again, keep that circular motion and just lighten it as you go. And there you have it. There is your Puff Cloud S. So if you make one of these today, please make sure you erase any lines or marks that you don't need and that you create a blended shading from dark to light using the side of your pencil to create a smoke-like or a cloud-like texture.